Dirty Water TV is brewed in part by the famous Narragansett Beer, New England's own local beer that captured the bronze medal at the 2008 World Beer Cup. Also brought to you by NightlifeNetwork.com, your guide to the nightlife's classified. The place where people meet, located at 2 Broad Street in Boston. By Higgs Tickets, your ticket to the best ticket in town. And by the greatest bar, celebrating the greatest people, places, and moments that make Boston legendary. Hi, I'm Ray Bork of the Boston Bruins, and I love that Dirty Water TV. Hi, I'm Wes Welker. Uh, I love Dirty Water TV. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Dirty Water TV. I'm Jennifer Manley. And I'm Christian Corey. Now, Jen, you know we got a new sponsor for the show, right? I know. The famous Narragansett Beer. I actually went to the Beer Summit the other night in Boston. There's a couple hundred different beers there. said to my friends, let's see which one we like the best. We tried Narragansett first, and we all ended up going back there. It was awesome. We see? loved it. It's, it's, it's a good beer. They they won a bunch of awards. Rated number one domestic lager by Beer Advocate Magazine. Won the bronze medal at the World Beer Cup. I mean, this brand and this beer is really taking off in Boston. It is. And you know what else is a winner in Boston? Doug Flutie. Doug Flutie, that's right. <laughs> Everybody's all American, right? I, went, I had actually had a chance to go to his charity, sit down with Doug, sit down with a bunch of players out there, and, you know, get, rip him a little bit about their <laughs> bowling and, you know, talk about some charity stuff. Well, I want to see, did you just sit down with them and hold the mic, or did you actually do some bowling? Let's check it out. I'm outside of Lucky Strike Bowling Alley out here in the shadows of Fenway Park. This is the sixth annual Flutie Bowl to strike out autism. Let's go inside and check out what's going on. This is like the most fun event that we ever do. Everything else is kind of long and tedious. This one's like short and sweet. Guys come in and have fun. And there's drinking involved, so everybody has fun. Sixth one you've done, you've done out here. Raised about $300,000. How much progress you guys have made with finding a cure for autism and you know where you're at with that? Where we've made a huge difference, start up facilities for services for families, and that's kind of been our focus. Then all of a sudden you get out and you meet some of the people that you affect, and that's where it really hits home that you're you're making a difference. You're actually gonna jam tonight. Do we expect to hear it now? Are you gonna do a little Phil Collins? Are you gonna play the drums and sing? I don't say I'm smarter than that. I hide behind the drums and stay out of the way and just play. We've been together for probably 15, 20 years now. Play classic rock covers. Surround yourself with talent. That's the key. That's, that, that's a good yeah. coaching point right Absolutely. there. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, hand the ball off to Herschel Walker, Walter Payton, LT. I'll or throw it to me. Or throw it to Christian, of course. That would work. All right, listen, so this only, is Only in the goal line. Only, only when it's going to be a touch. He doesn't want to catch the ball unless he's in the end zone. Well, I don't want to run either. That's the other part. Huh? Wouldn't it be cool if we could kind of do a bowling karaoke in one? Like, you got you to gotta sing while you bowl? I like that. I like the, uh, the vision that you're showing. Uh, Dirty Water was a big supporter of our event, and they gave us some good coverage, so I definitely appreciate that. But, yes, the concept of bowling while singing can be done. Are you a good bowler or do you like do you need the bumpers on? No, I used to, I, I'm a pretty good bowler. I'm a lot better when I have my own ball. It sounds kind of nerdy, but I need my own ball to be good. How big is, are your, is your own ball? 16 pounds. That's impressive. Oh, listen, so it sounds like you kind of know what you're doing. You have your own ball, so you got to know the bowling terminology. What happens if you get a turkey? Three in a row. Three strikes. Man. Three strikes in a row? You're, you're so looking at my sheet right now. Yeah, I'm looking at You're that. so so cheating. Uh, you'll leave one. I have no idea. <laughs> that must be Thanksgiving. No, it's three strikes in a row. Oh, circle gets a square. Look at this guy. What's a Dutch 200? That's uh, two hot broads from Holland. That's like when you're going out, the meal costs 200 bucks, and you go Dutch. <laughs> what are goal posts or, or bed posts? What happens if you get those? I assume it's a 7-10 split. Oh, he, my boy's two for two! What happens if you're bowling and someone comes up to you and says, wow, you're getting really good wood? I said, wow, are these pants that loose? I'm kind of scared if they ask me that question. Good wood means you can roll You can roll with the best of them. You know, that's good stuff. That, I'm going to take that? That's a real term. Hitting them solid, I guess. I don't know. Uh, Nobody give it to him! He did it! No, you're right. Everybody had a great time. Raised a lot of money for a great cause. All right, now, Jen, check out this form and tell me what you think. Oh, to you! 
Huh? All right, huh? all right, I'll give it to you. That was awesome. That was really good. But my real question is, how many takes was that? Like five, one, six? One take. One take. Ask Andrew, the cameraman. He saw it all. No special effects, no nothing. That was all me, baby. All right, if that was one take, I'll give it to you. That was pretty good. And he has nice form now. We know, ladies, why he was a tight end. This is true. <laughs> and enough about my rum. Let's hear about our newest member, Lisa Donovan. She covered her first event this week. She was at the spring makeup event at the Liberty Hotel, and she was walking the runway with some fashionistas. What's up, Lisa? Thanks, guys. I'm outside on the patio of the Esplanade Suite at the Liberty Hotel, and I have to say, the view from this suite is so beautiful. We're actually here for Shiseido Cosmetics, their hot new looks for spring. So I want to take everyone inside and let's take a sneak peek at what's coming for this spring. Come on, let's go. I had the opportunity to attend an exclusive makeup event at the Liberty Hotel for Shiseido and NARS Cosmetics. And I sat down with Jake Brulard from NARS and Shiseido, who's their premier makeup stylist. We line the eye and the rim of the eye using both a blue and a black. And this way the eyes were very smoldering, very gypsy-like, and not too overdone. And I think that's a big, big tip for spring is not too much makeup. Tell me what you do differently at night when you go out. What I try to do is either choose my eyes or my lips to punch out. Um, typically, I, for spring, if we're, we're focusing on spring, I love the idea of lightening the lip a bit and maybe putting a little more drama in the eye. And it could be just something simple as a heavier line, exaggerated or pulled up over the lid a bit. Do a little bit of eyeliner on the top and bottom lid, um, big mascara person, uh, and really just go for the natural look, the little lighter on the inside, and then uh, shadow it on the outside. So what about red lips? For spring. I am a real neutral palette kind of person, but you know what? If red works for you, I think I'd run with it. I had such a great time learning about the hot colors for spring from Shiseido and NARS Cosmetics, but now we just need spring to come, right Jen and Christian? Now you know what Jen, I'm not really an uptight guy, but the whole makeup thing for men, I don't get it. See, I wouldn't have guessed that about you because you're definitely secure enough to wear, uh, what is this? Is this a bedazzled blouse here? What's, what's going on here? I'm kidding me. My kids made this shirt in art class. <laughs> Glad it wasn't a high-priced designer. You know what? Like, we're going to talk after this. But before that, <laughs> coming up next on Dirty Water TV, Scott Zolak is coming in. He's going to tell us what Zo knows. Get a nice martini. Yo, hey. I'll give you an espresso martini and a steak. Dirty Water. Maria Menounos, and you're watching Dirty Water.